Well, hi guys. Um, this isn't about any particular make of vehicle, but it's about these Zexcel or Bosch Tix pumps, which is timing ejection control. I see on the forum that some people actually scrap the vehicle, which instead of trying to get this fixed because of the expense. So um, I just try and explain what's happened here with me and what it cost and, and what is in, involved. Um, this end here, there's a lot of on the internet about it, mainly in Russian, I think. But for the governor, is governing end, the governor, which is down here, there is there is nothing. I couldn't find any information at all. Um, fortunately, I I got a good technician um, who explained a lot of things to me, which which I'll endeavour to pass on. Um, this to replace this here, excluding. Uh, taxes and freight was about US two and a half thousand. The unit itself was close to two thousand. The rest was in uh, the labour cost, which considering the amount of work that was done on it, that went above and beyond the call of duty, uh, was a very good deal, um, I think. Uh, a lot of people have scrapped the vehicles, but you can, because of the cost, but the you can actually get into them. This this bit here on the end, I've put a mirror in here to try and make it um, more obvious behind here. But this piece, this bit on the end here, is just a, a cover. You can take that off and you're not going to have any springs or ball bearings fly out. There's only purely a cover. To get it off, you have to uh, take the mounting bracket off around the back, which is why I've got the mirror there. And um, and that piece there just bolts on with the four bolts. There's no hole or anything in the cover. You can take it safely off. And the, and the mounting bracket, of course, is is around the corner there, which bolts to the block. Uh, I'll show you what's in here and what apparently happens. Um, there's the symptoms uh, uh, that the first symptoms you might get is that it's a bit hard to start or it gets a bit hard to start the next one is that you'll pull up it's a well it's not really warmed up yet um, at an intersection or something and it the engine will stop and the, you, my first reaction was that I stalled it but in actual fact it stopped and then it might go okay for a few thousand K and I'll do it again and then the frequency gets closer uh, until one day you'll get to a point where it may not even start. And it does eventually start, but um, could take some time. So I'll just show you what's in it. And I'll just go into the into my carriage here. Incidentally, they weigh 30 kg if you take them out. And I used a... a um, engine lifter to get it out so this is the unit itself here it it um what happens is you put your foot on the turn the key on this here will pop up a little bit i suppose to the idle position and then as you accelerate this comes up and it works is attached to the um it's attached to the uh, fuel rack by, I've put a little white um, cap on there. You can see the white cap moving in and out, and, and that attaches to the fuel rack. And this down here is the speed sensor. Okay, so what happens is you, you accelerate, this comes up, uh, then you get to the corner or, or intersection, wherever it is you're going to come to, and you take your foot off the gas, and this drops back down. And the pump, it's waiting for the revs to come down to idle speed, and then this here will come back up and pick it up. It basically shuts the fuel off, comes back up and picks it up at the idle point, and you idle away. So the problem is 
that you you take your foot off the gas, you come to the intersection or wherever you're going to stop, and this will drop down to uh, let the engine speed drop down, but it doesn't pick up quick enough. And all of course that happens is that the engine stops, and that's it. Simple. Um, so how do you get around it? The uh, not everyone's got a lot of money to spend, including me. So there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that when this is down, it can actually be very hard to get off the bottom. It's sort of almost like a suction to, to get it to come up. Um, there's a couple of things you could do, I suppose. One is you could you could probably uh, glue some little blocks or something on here to stop it going right down and get away from that suction. The second one is on the back of the on the back of the cover you could probably uh you could make a hole which you'd have to seal up of course somehow and um and so you could get in here and give and lift this up off the to get it to get it free it up again and get you going especially if you've like me you pass the nowhere sign um several hours ago and you're you're on your own but what i actually did with this one because it's not going back to anything is that i pulled it up i pulled it apart and i cleaned it out and the suction's gone out of it so i'd imagine if you sprayed something like um contact cleaner or something in here and cleaned it out it might actually solve part of the problem or solve the problem altogether because that now is quite free uh, whereas before it really took some a, a, a bit of effort and I couldn't imagine how much electrical current to actually get it up off the bottom so that's that's um, something you could look at okay so as long as all the resistances uh, are okay um, if they're not we've got another problem but I'll show you the resistances and this is them here um, I'll put that in the sun so you can see it a bit better. This is the, the actuator end. Um, that's the, the front of the pump. I'll put it in this. Where um, uh, you can't do, which there's a lot of information on the internet about. So that's those, there's the resistances there. And, um, and you can try them. To make sure it all works okay and this is the, the resistances for the the um governor end of the pump i hope you can read those all right um and good luck with um any attempts to cure it the if you do do something if you could perhaps put in the comments what you've done and how it's worked out for you uh, so that other people can um, benefit from the information, and likewise, if if I'm if someone out there um, knows more about these than I do, which is which is zero, uh, maybe they could comment as to what I've said that is wrong, and tell us why, or comment on any other type of improvement that um, could help people save money and um, get their vehicles going again instead of scrapping them which is um, not really a, a good option okay well good luck with all that and yeah carry on